sunshine, it's Jasmine here and in today's video I'm so excited because I've been wanting to do this for so long and this is going to be a full face of Glossier. So I have some Glossier goodies here, some of the stuff I've had for a while, other stuff is new. Spoiler alert, I am kind of obsessed with Glossier. I mean obviously you don't get everything that I'm going to talk about and we'll get into that but I'm kind of excited video. I am going to start off with my primary moisturizer. Guys, you see it? It's gone. Like, I've been kind of obsessed with this product. It's like a lightweight, everyday moisturizer. And, I don't know, I feel like it's good for all skin types. It's not like super thick. They have like a, a priming, um, they have a private moisturizer in the rich version, which I have not tried. I'm interested in trying that one, but I like this one so much that I think I'll probably just repurchase this because like it's literally on its last leg. And it's kind of put that on my skin. I already did my other skincare, so my um my moisturizer, my sunscreen, all that, my serum and stuff, all that's already on. So um this is just like this technically is a moisturizer, so I didn't really need to do that, but I wanted to show you guys this product, and I love it. It's called a primer moisturizer, but I don't really think of it as like a primer because it doesn't do anything to prolong my makeup, in my opinion, but I do feel like things that I put on after it do go on better, so that's that. Also, I want to mention the Milky Jelly Cleanser. I've had this for so long. I think I probably should get rid of this. This is the mini one, which I think is like half the price of the full size. What I will say about this product is I pretty much used it. Up. I have a little bit left, but I don't think you need this product. It's unlike any cleanser that I've ever used, but I would equate it to like a cleansing conditioner or like a co-wash for your face. Like I don't feel like it does the job of a standard cleanser. It is like a milky jelly consistency and it doesn't set up. So it would be good for someone that has really dry skin, but I don't think it's like a proper cleanser. I think it just kind of conditions your skin and yeah, something along that line. Um, a lot of people like it as a makeup remover, which it is nice as a makeup remover, but I don't feel like for me personally, it removes like a uh, waterproof mascara. So. I don't know if this is going to be your favorite or if I can recommend it. I don't know if I'm going to repurchase this just because I feel like I found some comparable stuff at the drugstore. So if you're interested in me talking about the stuff I found at the drugstore, definitely let me know. Um, but yeah, this isn't bad. And I think the smaller one was like only $9. So if you're interested in trying it out, maybe get the travel size version and just see how you feel about it. Now for the star of the show, my Glossier. Skin tint. So this is the skin tint. I had mine in the shade G5, and this was like the perfect shade for me. I'm so happy that I ended up getting this shade for the skin tint because I was kind of debating between G5 and G6. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this on. As you can see, it has like the scoopy tube. I think most people like are familiar with Glossier, like if you're watching this video, but yeah. I'm just going ham kind of and just putting it all over my face. And it's like a skin tint. It's exactly what it says it is. If you're someone who's used to like a full coverage foundation or you prefer a full coverage foundation, you may not like this. Um, but if you are someone who doesn't really wear makeup and you kind of want to dibble and dabble in makeup but you want to look natural, this is going to be the perfect pattern for you just because I feel like it just kind of evens up your skin tone and makes you look like glowy and healthy. I'm going to go in with a brush. You can definitely use your hands um, or your favorite tool. I use my hands sometimes. If you use your hands, you're going to get more coverage. I feel like I get a desired amount of coverage with the brush. I feel like if you use a sponge, it probably would soak and mess with the product. So I don't necessarily recommend the sponge, but um, I've had good luck with the brush. So that's what I'm using today. And I've been obsessed with this product. I use it like, I've been using it whenever I want to do a base. I've just been reaching for this one. Um, you guys saw in my last video, I used the NYX. I think it's like the Naked Skin Veil or Tinted Skin Veil 
Um, and I picked that one up thinking that it would be a dupe for this one and they are not the same. Like that one is so good, but this one is, is my jam. Really been enjoying this product. <laughs> so somebody's gonna be like, girl, you look the same. And I'm like, I know, but I look a little better. You look elevated. So that's what this product really does. So I'm a big fan. I think I'm gonna recommend this to my friends who don't really wear makeup because I just feel like this is like the perfect like level of, you know, so now we're gonna go into concealer. So I have the um, stretch concealer. Here's the thing. The cool thing is that Glossier does like a set deal where you can get the um, the skin tint and then the stretch concealer in a duo for $36. But you pick the shades that you want. And I was really contemplating between shade six and shade five for my concealer and I ended up getting shade six so as you can see this is what shade six looks like and i mean it works for me under my eyes especially um and as the winter progresses or the winter comes and my skin you know lightens a little bit i think it'll look even better but this is not a shade that i would put all over my face so i do think i'm gonna go ahead and pick up shade six i'm sorry shade five i'll pick up um probably during um like the, the side of my nail sale because this shade, as you can see, it's like pretty light for me. But it looks nice under the eyes. So I'm gonna put that on. As you can see, that added just like a ton of brightness to the eyes. Um, this is like a balm consistency. Like, it really does remind me of like a lip balm in a concealer form. As you can see, it's very glowy under the eyes. Um, but I will admit that this is not my favorite product. Yeah, not my favorite product. This creases on me. This definitely creases on me, which is not a preference that I have when it comes to my concealer. I don't want things creasing on me. I will admit that I have not used this with powder, and it's because I like the way it looks on my skin, like as it is. Um, but I'm going to play around with this with powder. I will admit that I have not been reaching for this concealer a ton. More so than reaching for the skin tint and I'm going with my milk makeup concealer or something along those lines. But I want to try shade 6 and even use that all over my face and see how I feel about that. So that looks really good. Oh, I forgot to talk about the bomb.com. So this is the bomb.com and this is their universal skin solve. This is like a fancy Vaseline, honestly. I'm not even gonna lie, it is. Um, I like it, but when I kept seeing it online, I thought it was much bigger than it is. Like, it's actually pretty small. And, I mean, that's not a bad thing because it'll fit in my purse and I mainly use it as like a, a lip balm and then I put it on my cuticles and stuff. But, um, you don't need this. I think this is like, I want to say $12. Like, child, you can just go get you some cocoa butter, some shea butter, and that'll do the trick because I just feel like this is, uh, it's nice, but it's, it's not worth it. Now, one of my favorite products are the Glossier Cloud Beads. The one I have right here is Storm. I also picked up Dawn, which, but I can't find it, and I'm thinking of picking up another shade. I just don't know. Oh. Okay, that was too much. So a little thing, a little note about these is that a little bit goes a long way. So, oh yeah, that was too much. A lot of people like to mix these and like customize their own shape. Oh my god, that's too much. Brb, I'm back. So. In, my la in one of my previous videos, I talked about if you go go crazy with the blush, you OD with the blush, what to do, you just take your foundation brush without any extra product and just go around the edges of your blush. And that'll tone it down. But I'm such a fan of these blushes. They just look so healthy on the skin, which I really appreciate. Okay, so now I feel like we're gonna do super healthy so now I'm gonna go in with brow product this is 
but the product I'm going to use is the Glossier Playbrow. This is like a cult classic favorite. This is one of the things that Glossier first became known for. I have the shade brown, and I was pleasantly surprised by this product. If you've been watching my videos, you probably can tell that I prefer much more natural down um, as of recently, but I still don't usually just go in with a gel. I usually like to add a little bit more definition with the pencil, but with this product, I felt completely comfortable just using the gel and calling it a day. So I'm just going to show you how that works for me. That looks like that, which is what I'm familiar with. I always start towards the middle of my hair and then I'm going to work towards the back. And then I'm going to work towards the front. You see, um, it just looks so natural but like good. You can easily start looking a little too harsh, but they look natural but good. It's definitely more natural and you know, it takes them getting used to if you're not used to like a look like this. But I think it's so beautiful. Now we're gonna go out with highlighter. This is the Halo Scrub Highlighter. I've had this for quite some time, which is why it's kind of dirty. What I will say is when I first got this product, I was like, wait. Like, I was that girl that was using like Champagne Pop by Becca all the time. Somehow, some way, I ended up really enjoying this product. Um, and there was a period of time where this was the highlight that I was wearing. I think my makeup choices have changed uh, quite a bit over time, and I do prefer like more of a natural look. Maybe that's why, but I really do like this product. It's not going to be for everyone, especially if you're used to applying the highlight. But we will play with this, and this is in the shade Topaz. So it's super natural. I actually want to try one of the other shades because this one just kind of blended into my skin, as you can see. This is not going to be for everyone. This is like literally, you can wear this on its own. But it looks like healthy, honestly. I've oily seen it, so sometimes my skin will just look like this anyway. <laughs> but I like it. Now, I'm very sad because Glossier does not have a bronzer, and I did not want to get like a darker concealer or darker powder just to kind of create a bronzer. So I am going to go in with my own bronzer. I'll do that on camera. Yes, I'm gonna be so excited when Glossier comes out with the bronzer. There's so many things on my list to try that I haven't tried, but the look is coming together. So there's only a couple more things that I have left to do. Mascara, so this is the Glossier Mascara. This is Lash Lick, and I think they just have one shade, which is black. I was on the fence about purchasing this. I'm very particular when it comes to mascara. I typically prefer mascaras that are both volumizing and, and lengthening and claim to do both. A lot of the reviews that I saw of this mascara said that it was on the lengthening and I typically don't reach for those types of mascaras so I didn't even know if I wanted to buy it but I wanted to be able to do a full face so I picked up the, the mascara. And I'm so glad that I did. I've been wearing this almost every day. I'm a fan. Um, I will admit that the first um, the first couple times that I used it, it was flaking on me. And it was like a weird flake. It was like really tiny confetti pieces. But um, it, it's gotten better with the flaking. And I just like the way it makes my lashes look. It, it's very natural. It's like the everyday mascara. It's, I don't wear falsies. So, there are certain days where I want to go in with a like more intense mascara, but for every day, this is this is really good. All right, I'm back and I'm better. So last but not least is lippy and okay, so. <laughs> Since, like, Glossier has come out with a ton of products, including their Glossier Playline, and I actually don't own any products from the Glossier Playline, but I definitely will be picking some up um, pretty soon. I ended up uh, picking up one of the Generation G lipsticks, and I've been seeing these products for so long, and I was eager to kind of try this formula. I decided to pick up the shade Leo. And that was because, I don't know, I just saw it look so beautiful on so many different people. So Leo is a straight up brown. I was very excited about this. I'm going to swatch it for you. So I'm like 
okay this is about to be real cute on the lips and um i'm gonna show you i'm gonna show you what it looks like and this is me like pressing hard y'all This is what it looks like. Um, yeah. I'm like, y'all, I'm pressing hard. Can you pick it? That's what we're working with. I mean, I don't hate it, but, um, I don't love it. I don't, yeah. I don't really like it. It's pretty. It's not bad, but it's not worth $18. I knew that this was going to be a sheer formula, but I don't know. I just suspected more pigment from this, um, and I'm not a fan of the smell either. <laughs> kind of smells like like old, ready or old. I don't know. It's it's pretty. I do want to try. Um, I think they have like a radish in it. I'm not sure what the name is. Leave it down below. But um, as kind of pointing this, it looks nice on camera. In person, I don't think it looks terrible, but it just—it's just not doing. It's just not doing enough for me. It's like a tint and lip balm, honestly, which you can get that, you know, from a drugstore for like three dollars. So, yeah, not my favorite. I do want to pick up another shade. They have a shade jam, which I think is like a little bit more purpley, and they have another one that's red. So, I'm like, maybe I'll try those, and maybe I'll like those. But yeah, this is my Glossier look. It looks super natural, y'all. I know. Alright, my beauties. So thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Let me know what you thought. Let me know what your favorite Glossier products are. The products I definitely need to pick up. 